Hey everyone at Sutton Tools. Well, it's exciting we're going racing again this weekend at Sydney Motorsport Park, but we're unable to do pit tours there, so I wanted to show you guys around our brand new Castrol Ford Mustang. Well, obviously, it was a huge build process over the off-season for us, such um, a big effort by everyone here at Cali Racing. Late nights, getting it ready. I remember the test at Tail and Ben was such a, a rush. We finished the car here at like one in the morning or something the night before, um, travelled across to Tail and Ben, finished a few things off um, as we rolled the car out under the track, went straight to the Adelaide 500, got a pretty good result there, I think, considering the lead-up. Turned up to the Grand Prix, got shut down and uh, 10 weeks of nothing and basically here we are. So pretty exciting to have the car prepped and ready to hit the track again. It's um, one of those things where you've got a brand new toy like that. We only did one race and I was itching to get back in it, progress, um, move forward up the field if we can, improve the car, all those things that you want to do and we, we got stopped. Um, so many things changed in the world, I guess. So we're pretty lucky to be able to actually go back to racing um, this weekend. But obviously the engine's been a big part of that build, which you see under the bonnet there. One of the big things that you'll notice in a race car is how far back the engine is set inside the car. So there's a good meter there from the front of the car to the start of the engine. And that's why it can be so hot in that cockpit because the engine is basically right in front of your feet. The exhaust comes out of the head here, straight down and under the footwell of the race car. And we'll have a look at that when we get inside. And that's why the drivers complain a lot at places like Adelaide, Darwin, Townsville, um, all those hotter rounds as to why it gets so hot inside the cockpit. If you um, swing around here, you'll see pretty cool looking um, piece of machinery. These weight bags are in here for the guys to do the setup on the car that basically mirrors the, the weight of myself, about 80 kilograms with my helmet and, and everything on. Um, and then um, what, what we touched on, the heat. So this is all carbon fibre. You look down in there, you can see the, the pedals are all aluminium. And obviously aluminium heats up very, very quickly. So the exhaust system runs um, under our legs and then turns and heads out the passenger side of that car. So um, as the race goes on at somewhere like Adelaide, the heat continues to come through there and, and heat everything up. So that's probably one of the, the biggest complaints the drivers have of, of getting hot inside the car is actually um, the burning of your feet, which we've seen at different rounds can be a real issue. Um, for us, obviously, everything inside the cabin here is designed around our body. So we, we pour a mould around um, our body inside that seat, which forms the inner seat in the race car so that I'm nice and comfortable at, at um, all the races, including the longer ones. You don't want to start to get any sore spots or, or numbness in your legs can create lots of issues. And that does happen from time to time. So a lot of time goes into getting the driver nice and comfortable. Um, the steering wheel is something that we design ourselves, more so the layout all around it. So all the, all the things I need to adjust on the run are nice and clearly labelled right in front of my um, line of sight here on the steering wheel, including the dash and um, rev light. So we've got two uh, shift light binnacles here. One's a warning light system. The shift lights, which is a really critical thing for us to use very, very well, is right here in our line of vision. And we've got another set of lights up on the dash console here, which is the warning light system that goes in. Now it could tell us um, things like safety car, blue flag, yellow flag, red flags, all those sorts of things that are very important for us. Because as you drive around a racetrack, sometimes it's easier to miss um, the flag marshal points, especially if you've got cars around you. So this um, warning system really helps us um, improve safety. So that's a good thing that we've had. Um, if you just swing around just a little bit, you'll see in the passenger your side the angle core box there so we spoke about the heat that's a very critical part of what we do that we have two hoses that run um, into there into a cooling system around our body which is just little water lines that run around us and that water pumps around our body back into the cool box where we have dry ice to cool it down and then recirculates it. We also have um, a helmet air force that comes off the window into the cool box through a, a tube gets cooled down and into our helmet again that's a critical part of, of what we do. Um, so that's sort of the inside of the car. It's pretty cool, nice and comfy. A bit of a spaceship looking thing in there. Um, you can see now the car is on the setup patch. The guys are just doing the final setup for this weekend at Sydney Motorsport Park. And that's going to be a really, really critical thing because the practice sessions are pretty short. The time in between the sessions as well is really minimised. So it's very important we roll the car out with a nice fast setup to start with and just fine tune it as the weekend goes through. Um, all the panels on the car are obviously um, composite and carbon fibre, and that's a transition that we've had over, over the recent years. Um, yeah, at the start of last year, I think it was actually the year before, we started to put some composite panels on to combat um, the other cars building new, new Commodores, new Falcons, um, and now new Mustangs are getting lighter and lighter. And so um, all the panels have, have changed as, um, as the standard. Um, manufacturer panels become hard to get our, get our hands on. We have to make our own. So that's where the 
composites have been introduced. You can see the way everything's built here is not really um, mirrored to a road car anymore, although the overall shape is still um, very much very much like that. But there you go, the Castrol Mustang is um, basically prepared now, ready to go to City Motorsport Park. So once the, the setup's complete, we'll whack it down on the floor, pack it in the truck, and it'll head up um, ready to attack our first race back. Hope you enjoyed the tour.